how he wooed a lass studying natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. You know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. He had a stare for hours as labourers crushed boulders into cobblestones, trying to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know a human woman, but that would bore a dwarven mass to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picture of Dandelion with a pair of tits, you get the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. There were rumours about her. All kinds of rumours. Even that she flies to Sabbaths on a broomstick. <gasps> Long hair. 
tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are, rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent berries touch lilac sweet. out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. Ryan will get out. He risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce Precious Priscilla, known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. 
So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. I made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Got Bobby to feed. Then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warlord don't come home on his own. Take care, Bill. Geralt! Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Take care now.
Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Rubin that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You made this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hey, boy, hey! Nice fun you have. <laughs> he will lie. He doesn't blush. And Junior can't his eye. They're not even to shove it up the corpse's arse. And then he sent the blood to find any better. Bigger. From the He's injured like in the horse. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuven. Gudrun calls it Herberos. <laughs> Does it loop back on itself? Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. with my prick hanging out. Ah! Sorry for that incident. 
My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarf's Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Orson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Poor son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first! I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanin. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? 
Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Orson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out.
From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I work for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philip Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the lodge. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? 
He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Stop that! Now! Man! 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 Ziggy Lord! Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Man! Huh! Man! Less thinky! Man! Less thinky! Man! Sadness! Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! 
translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? Uh, the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up. And I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. I ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes head fall. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun gone! Bad troll! Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! 
Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you got yourself into? Great. The explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Hmm. Definitely came through here.
is here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? Bart, no minute, Scott. Bart rocks, Scott. Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? Bart, nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When, but, not much do. But, think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks interesting. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal, something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah, yeah, but here, uh, like uh, a piece, piece. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No, a piece other, not animal all that. Right, so like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In that tree. What? Where... Where... But... Turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But... Time got Chorfun go, but God, now nothing. Ah, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. No. No.
got a minute. I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no 